Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your math lesson of the day. Um, this week we're going to focus on writing numbers in numeric form, word form, and expanded form. So today you're going to be working on writing numbers in numeric form, which means we are writing numbers with numbers. Um, hopefully this is just a review for you. You guys are pretty fluent with writing numbers in numeric form. I want you to pay close attention to reading numbers in numeric form because I know last week some of you were having a little bit of an issue once we got up to the thousands period and then also the millions period. So just take a look um, as you're watching the video and take note of the patterns that reoccur throughout the different periods when we're writing numbers. Good luck! So our guiding question for this lesson is how do you write 758,737 in numeric form? And you may be thinking, huh? In this lesson, you will learn how to read and write numbers in numeric form by using a place value chart. Let's review. On this place value chart, we have the number 8,325,471. You're probably all familiar with the numbers in the thousands place, all the way to the ones place, or at least you should be. But now we're going to increase our knowledge of numbers that are larger. Numbers in the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place, and even the millions place. A common mistake that many students make is writing 408 as 4008, which is actually the number 4008, instead of writing it the correct way, which is 408, 408. It is important to think about the place of each number as you hear the words. Let's take a look at a place value chart again. Each section of the place value chart is called a period. We have the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. Within each period, we have three sections. So in the ones period, we have our ones. Those are our units. We have a tens and hundreds. And then we look at the thousands period. We have the thousands, which is our unit. See right here? That's our unit. And then we have the ten thousands and hundred thousands. Then when we jump to the millions period, we have our millions, which is our unit, because that's what period we're in. And then we have ten millions and hundred millions. I would like for you to take notice as to how this pattern continues as we move through different periods. So you have tens and hundreds here in the ones, and the ones is our unit. And then when you move to the thousands, that's your unit space, but then you have ten and hundred thousands. Then you move to the millions, and you have ten millions, hundred millions. So the pattern is that it goes by your unit first, ones, thousands, millions, and then it goes to ten and hundred of each of those different units. Let's take a look at a number on our place value chart. If we were to write this number in numeric form, we would need to insert a comma before each period. So, in the thousands period, we would insert a comma right there, right separating where the thousands and the ones periods are. And then we would also need to do that to the millions. So we would put a comma right where the millions and the thousands periods meet. If you were to read this number in numeric form, you would say the unit whenever you see a comma. So in this case, we would have 7,702,543. Let's take a look at another number. If we were writing this number in numeric form, again, we would have to put a comma in the beginning of each period. We would have to put one in the beginning of the thousands period, and we'd also have to put one in the beginning of the millions period. So, we would say this number, 48,324,515. Let's take a look at a number written in word form that we're going to put in numeric form. So the number is 758,737. So we would start out by looking at the very first period of our number. So we have 758,000. And notice that whenever you write a number in word form, after the period name, you put a comma also, just like you do in the number. So we would start with 758, and then you see the word thousand. So we have to put a comma there 
just like they would in writing it in word form. And then we have 737. Let's take a look at another number. This number is written in word form and it is 5,225,412. So if we're starting here in the millions period, we have 5 million and see how I put my comma there just like they did in a word form after that millions period. Then I have 225 and then see how they put a comma there because I have a thousand. So 225,000 comma and then our last period is 412. So let's check and make sure that we're correct. We have five million, there's five million, we have a comma that signifies that it's in the millions place, 225,000 with a comma that signifies it's in the thousands place, 412. In this lesson, you've learned how to read and write numbers in numeric form by using a place value chart.